season five is going to be live any second. I know, I know, I kept brushing my teeth. Dude, hurry up. Dude, it's live now. Now? Yeah, now. Now? Holy crap. It is live. That is right, Season 5 of Modern Warfare is officially here, and as you guys know, the only thing more important than dental hygiene is the release of a new Modern Warfare season. There is so much new in this season, and I'm going to have a video coming out later today discussing everything that changed in today's update, but as you guys know, the very first thing we do when a new season comes out is we check out the Battle Pass, the new store items, and discuss what is worth it and what is not, and of course, first things first, we're going to jump straight in and look at what you get inside the Battle Battle Pass. But before we dive into that Battle Pass, I just wanted to say we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. We are quickly getting there. And of course, if you want to be a part of that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Looking at my analytics, only 32% of you who normally watch my videos are subscribed to the channel, which means that if everyone who watches this video subscribes, we're basically going to be at a million subscribers. So if you enjoy the content, you want to stay up to date with everything Call of Duty, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on let's dive into the battle pass so here is just the brief overview of what you see everything inside of the battle pass you see new characters skins new weapons and we're going to discuss all of that so first things first when you buy the battle pass you get four things right away the first of which is the new operator who is lurch as you can see this battle pass does end in 54 days but marcus ortega aka lurch looks pretty dope and with him you get some challenges where you can unlock various skins for him it's not like you have to hit level 100 and then you get the maximum skin and can unlock it that way you just get it right away and you're gonna see why when we look later on in the battle pass on top of this you get a new rodeon skin which looks pretty cool on top of this the juggernaut pack for your vehicles basically horn noises aka radio music i don't know whether i can play it or not i don't know whether it's copyrighted so i'm just not gonna play it for you guys and on top of this the season 5 xp boost which just helps you level up a little bit faster then at rank one you get your first free item even if you don't buy the battle pass you still get this and this one is a light machine gun variant as you're seeing here now on top of this the next thing you get is a calling card that is lurch some double xp a new emblem and then at rank five you get your first weapon which is a knife a pretty cool looking knife and it has the shadow company logo on it as you can see right there the little spade with the rook after this once again you get some call of duty points this is the same thing every season if you just buy the base version of the battle pass you just pay the ten dollars to unlock it you get more than enough cod points to buy it the next season so that's what i always recommend doing but in this case these cod points are actually free you don't even need to buy the battle pass to get these 100 cod points just like a good drug dealer call of duty giving you just a little bit of a taste of those cod points after this some more double xp and then our next weapon blueprint this one called the black adder which is a assault rifle blueprint i believe this is for the kilo could also be the m13 not 100 percent sure but rather straightforward just a blacked out weapon after this you have a blacked out vehicle i actually kind of like this it looks pretty cool and also you'll notice once again it once again has that shadow company logo on it you'll see that a lot throughout everything in this battle pass after this we have have an otter skin makes them look pretty different adds a new color to them nothing too fancy though the point of attack this is a sticker that you unlock at tier 11 more cod points more double xp and then of course at rank 15 you get your first new weapon so this is called the iso and is a basically an apc 9 as you can see from the weapon here this is a precision crafted 9 millimeter submachine gun with a fast rate of fire this lightweight and reliable firearm is designed to control the close quarters of the battle Battlefield. So honestly, the description is pretty damn similar to the Fennec. Not too much difference there whatsoever. After this, we get another calling card, more COD points, and then our next blueprint is called the Phantom Limb. This is, of course, for a pistol. As you can see, it has the colored trigger and a monolithic suppressor. So pretty decent, but nothing too fancy whatsoever. Then we have our first Milsim pack. So these, they add every single season. They're the most realistic operators that you can use. Then we have something called the Nevermore. Now, this is interesting because we've had dogs in finishing moves we'd have the sam squinch we've had riley now we have a raven and yes apparently a raven can kill you after this we have another free item this one is a blueprint for a sniper rifle as you can see here they kind of going the theme that they have going with this battle pass is blacked out you're gonna see it a lot it doesn't add very many skins to the weapons but again you see a lot of shadow company logos and as you can see this one here is for the sniper rifle after this you have some weapon xp call of duty points a free weapon charm 
Again, another blacked out vehicle. And then the next one is called the Apodora, if I'm saying that right. I actually really do like the look of this one. It's for the 725, as you can see here. And uh, like I said, just kind of golden black. Some more sprays, another skin. This one is for Domino, uh, this time with the Balaclava, again, kind of hiding the face. And then at rank 31, you get the AN-94. I have a feeling that this is going to kind of be the weapon that a lot of people are looking forward to. But when you read the description, things start to get a little interesting. So it says cutting edge 5.45 by 39 millimeter Russian assault rifle with unique hyper burst feature. The initial shot from each trigger pull fires a rapid two round burst before perceived recoil is felt. So basically bullets come out of the gun like a burst weapon, but has no recoil, creating a tightly grouped cluster with increased damage potential. This mechanism is fed by a canted magazine and a reciprocating receiver helps keep control of the recoil. So basically a burst weapon with little to no recoil within a burst. So super accurate. This may actually be a new meta gun within Warzone. We'll have to wait and see what type of damage it actually does. After this, more COD points, a new watch, like every season they're adding new watches, a free calling card, which appears to have a new character on the left-hand side there. I don't know who that is, but that's Mara, Lurch, and I believe Rose. And the interesting thing about this is I'm wondering if some of these are actually Shadow Company operatives that we don't know yet. After this, we get our first colored blueprint called the Tarpon. This one is a light machine gun blueprint looking pretty damn cool. Honestly, out of all of them that we've looked at so far, probably my favorite. Moving forward, the next cool thing we have is at 38. This one is called the Gallows and it is an SMG, I believe, for the AUG here. Nothing too fancy, again, fully blacked out. Then we have our blacked out ATV called the Matchlock. And then our next skin is once again a Milsim skin, but for the Canadians out there like myself. Then our next weapon blueprint is at rank 42. This one is called the Old Fuss and Feathers. And this one, once again, blacked out with a colored pistol grip there. Then we start to get fancy at rank 45. This one is called the Fear. I'm not even going to try to say that. But this one kind of has like a Kraken or octopus arms coming out. The gun looks pretty cool. A little bit different than any other weapon we've seen before. More COD points. And then at rank 50, probably the strangest skin that you'll ever see. This one is for Yigor, looking like a mob boss with one of the strangest haircuts I've ever seen. This time he doesn't have his shirt off, but he's wearing some interesting threads. At rank 51, we have the Iridescent. This one is probably my favorite weapon out of the entire bundle. You have that kind of chrome rainbow skin on it. I wish it was throughout the whole weapon and not just on certain areas, but I do really like this skin. Moving to our next free item at rank 55. I believe this is for the car 98. And once again, going with that full blacked out theme. After some more COD points and double XP, we get to another blueprint called the Cult Classic. This one is for a sniper rifle. And once again, pretty straightforward on the weapon blueprint. And then our next watch is actually a free watch. And I actually kind of like this. If you look at your watch, it'll actually show you the direction that you're looking at on your compass. This can help for callouts in Warzone. Then we move to a free calling card here. And then after this, we have a whited out pistol called the Meltwater. Again, nothing too fancy about this one. A free emblem. And then at rank 70, we get the Chill Pill. And this is a new skin for Sid. Looking a little bit more chill than what she normally wears for the rest of her skins. Then another blacked out skin. This one is called the Black Cat. I believe this is for the AK here. Honestly, it makes a couple of attachments look a little bit different as you can see the different looking skeleton stock there and once again this one has the spade on there for shadow company another blacked out vehicle with the shadow company logo on it at 75 and then our next blueprint is called the catacombs this one is for a light machine gun but makes it very 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 tiny and kind of adds the skull camo to it as you're seeing here our next skin is for talon at rank 80 and is called the jackdaw honestly i like this one this is probably one of my favorites and also he's canadian too so maybe i'm just a little bit biased the next blueprint is called the Vizla. i don't know if i'm saying that right but this one is kind of like a hunting camo you have your normal type of camo that you'd see on a weapon then at rank 84 we have the lurch forward which is the bobblehead of lurch that is a weapon charm another cool blueprint this is another one of my favorite is called the conduit it's for an smg and as you're seeing here it's kind of chromed out with some red and black on the weapon honestly i like this one our next cool blueprint is called the Engraven. Again, I really like this one. Unfortunately, it's for a weapon that I don't use very much, but it's a whited out camo, kind of opposite of the rest of the battle pass. And then at rank 90, you have a new and very cool looking Iskra skin. So Iskra doesn't normally look like this. This is probably one of the most different skins that we've seen on a character, but honestly, I think she's looking pretty fly. Another watch at rank 93, nothing too special here. And then the Halcyon days, another SMG blueprint. I believe this one's for the striker looking pretty cool. 
And then that is pretty much it, aside from a weapon charm and some more COD points until rank 100. So at rank 100, you get the Rook skin. This is for Rose. Honestly, one of the coolest looking skins for Rose. Definitely makes you realize she is definitely in Shadow Company. Interesting, though, that she is still hiding her face. The next thing you get at rank 100 is the Company's Might. This is a legendary assault rifle blueprint. I believe this is for the AN-94 here. And actually, with the attachments on here, aside from the compensator, replace the compensator with a mono suppressor. This is actually a pretty damn good blueprint for Warzone. You have the VLK times three, so definitely a weapon that you can consider using in the game for real. Then you have the blacked out helicopter that you get at rank 100, and of course the emblem that you always get once you complete the battle pass. So this is everything in the battle pass now let's go have a look at what's inside the store that you can get in season five so far so as you can see when we look at the store of course you have your battle pass where you have your two options we'll talk about these two in a minute obviously one is just buying the battle pass whereas the other one is buying the battle pass to plus 20 tiers now aside from this we first of all have the wetland protection which first of all you get a pretty cool looking skin for golem this one's going to cost you 1800 cod points on top of that a submachine gun blueprint called the death roll a new watch a new golem quip and then some calling cards emblem that kind of thing the second one we have here is called the internal samurai this one comes with a new melee weapon called the diamo hopefully i'm saying that correctly on top of this a really cool looking skin in my opinion the best skin so far for the riot shield and then a calling card and emblem so if you're into melee weapons this one may be for you so honestly, as far as the battle pass goes, this is, I would have to say, probably one of the most boring battle pass as far as weapon blueprints go. They're just all blacked out. There's nothing really fancy or standouty with them. Not really much more I can say other than that. But the rest of the battle pass I think is pretty good. The weapon blueprints that you are getting do have decent attachments on them. You get your normal character. And as I always recommend, if you are buying the battle pass, it's most beneficial just to buy the battle pass with the 1,000 COD points. Don't spend the extra money to unlock the first 20 tiers. And then essentially your next battle pass is going to be 100% free. But if you want to unlock the weapons right away, feel free to spend your money, get the battle pass tiers, and you always do get a good deal if you buy that right away. But ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, that is the battle pass. That is the store items. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it's always appreciated if you hit that like button. We've got another video coming later today discussing everything new in this update. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments below. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.